Hey, we back on Discord, and we're talking about disable lists, anti-disable lists again. Actually, um, I've done a video on how to make these, um, what's good for them, and what you want for them, and all the rest of it. And if you want like legitimate tips on that stuff, uh, then I will put the video in the description. Go check it out. Very nice. But despite that, this is still the most frequently asked question that I get. It's actually in the FAQ on my Discord, so feel free to read that if you want. But what is my disable list and what is my anti disable list? Because people out here wanting to copy them, which is understandable, it's understandable. But if that's you and I, or in fact anyone else, has perhaps linked you this video after you've asked one of those questions, then you're in the right place and I'm gonna go through that stuff. I'm here now to first of all give you it so that you can, you know, go and do whatever you want if you are seriously sure that you want to use it, um, but more importantly explain why you shouldn't use it, because you shouldn't. But yeah, that's what we're talking about today. So anti-disable list and disable list. If I go up here into my DMs with midday here, there we go, uh, in my pinned messages. Uh, current starting disable command. Here we go. So this is what I disabled, right? It's been edited a few times. Um, I don't really keep it updated that often, um, but this is the point you need to. This is reason number one why you shouldn't just use my disable list because it changes like a lot, right? This probably doesn't even work anymore. What you're wanting for a disable list is something to disable as many characters as possible. There's a lot that changes there that people don't realise. So, first we'll, we'll have a look at uh, bonus. Right, bonus, this is a command, you can type it, good job. We have limroll, okay, yeah, this is game mode 2, so you're seeing limroll limits. If I just nip into game mode 1, you'll see the one that you probably want to see. Here we go, disable list size. Your, dis your default disable list size is 20,000. Now here is the first thing that people assume that is wrong. Premium disable lists are better. No. By default, yes, obviously. Default disable list is 20,000, default premium disable list is 25,000. But that is not to say that they are always better. You can increase your disable list size. As you can see, I have an extra 3,870 slots. What? That is uh, through, as you can see, mostly KLs, um, but also some from KT. These are upgrades you can get. I don't have premium. So that means my disable list is 23,870 in total. That's almost as much as premium there. I only need a, a, you know, a couple more floors in the tower, well, we'll get there. In fact, if I go onto here, I'm pretty sure I'll already have it. There you go, disable list size 9,305. That's 7,500 from uh, KLs and 2,000 from KTs. This is better than a premium disable list. I do not have premium. So here is your first hurdle in copying someone's disable list. Do they have the same number of slots as you? I cannot simply make a video, here is a disable list, here is a premium disable list, because they aren't always consistent. You don't always have 20,000 slots, you don't always have 25,000 slots, right? You might not be able to use my disable list, I might not be able to use yours, if we have different amount of slots. So that's the first thing to consider. The second thing to consider is Midday itself. If we look into the updates, you can see sometimes characters being added. When was the last time they were added? It was a while ago because they've been having a million API issues again. Here we go though. So this was a few months ago now, uh, two months ago. An extra 5,000 characters. Now you may think this is, you know, this is just a normal thing. What does that have to do with disable lists? Well, those characters are added somewhere. You know, they don't just show up in the void, right? They are added to a place. So for example, if I look up uh, Kadokawa, probably thing that is disabled the most, it now has 8,401 characters in it. Now, if I can just search from perhaps a while ago, well, I, I might have checked it before. Here we go, a few months ago. There you go, 6,000. Uh, that was almost a year ago, actually. More than a year ago. There you go. 6,000 characters. So if you disable Kadokawa, and then a few months later they add more characters, there's extra characters in your disable list. Why is this a problem? 
well, this is a problem because it might go over the limit, right? So that means any disable list that I could give you now will not work after more characters are added. This is why I say you have to update it, right? Disable lists are not static. The best disable lists change all the time. This is why I don't put much effort into my disable list. Don't assume that I have the best disable list, because honestly, I cannot be bothered. My disable list, um, as you can see from here, uh, where is it? Here we go. This one here, this is old, you know? This is really old. I mean, okay, I wrote the message in December, and I've edited it since then, but I've not e edited it that much. I bet it doesn't work anymore with 20,000 characters. Uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Feel free to test it, you know? But I don't bother changing my disable list that much because I do not care that much. It makes less difference than you think. Like, yeah, okay, you might disable an extra thousand characters by pour, putting more effort into it, but then you have to update it again after a couple of months anyway. Every couple of months when they add more characters, you have to change your disable list. And that's not men not mentioning that um, throughout those couple of months, characters may not be added, but they are uh, moved around sometimes. Here we go, polls. Series, logo, alias, name. There's regular polls. All this sort of stuff. Um, Characters can change uh, series, right? This means you could have a maxed out disable list. No characters have actually added to the bot, but some character moves around and you hit your limit. Your disable list is ruined. You have to keep updating it, right? So if you have a disable list, feel free to check it out. See if it actually still works. Maybe it doesn't anymore. The more effort you put into it, then the better it'll be. Here we go, here's a good example. Shadow here, congrats, you have become an example, and uh, your uh, overlap limit there of 25,000 out of 25,000 characters. Shadow's got premium, that's why he's got the 25,000, it's not because of upgrades, we're not quite that advanced on the server yet. But here we go. <coughs> he's got uh, 11 slots being used, 25,000 characters disabled. However, if I just skip ahead a bit to maybe a more recent version of his disable list. Okay, mind that I said it was three months since the last update had happened, no characters have been added, but you notice how he's now over his overlap limit? So his disable list is no longer prime real estate, right? This is something that happens. He's put a lot of effort into his disable list and he's done a really good job getting it to 25,000 characters, but this is, this is what happens. He's going to need to keep updating it in order to keep it at that 25,000. Personally, I cannot be bothered. He can. You might be able to. Good luck for you. But reason number a million why not to copy someone's disable list. You need to keep on updating it. Now let's also think about why we use disable lists in the first place. What do they actually do? Well, obviously, they disable characters. It's not just a magical method of rolling all the high ranks, right? Of course not. It disables a character. So, if you just copy someone's disable list, for example, mine over here, you are going to disable a bunch of stuff that you probably want to roll, especially from Kadokawa. A lot of the high ranks are in Kadokawa. Where, where did we do our Imero? Is it over here? Yeah, here we go. Look at all those high ranks that you're disabling. Right? Rem, Megumin, Maisak, Rajima, Asuna, do you want any of those? If you disable Kadokawa, you cannot get them. Right? So now you've got to think about anti-disable lists as well. Personally, I have a huge anti-disable list that anti-disables all of the stuff that I want, pretty much no matter whether uh, I disable them in the first place or not. Um, but these then become player-specific, right? Maybe you don't want to roll some of these, or maybe, you know, some of the lower down ones. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been too long to use the page now. Let's, let's go a bit, bit lower down now. I don't know, let's say Evil Eye, someone from Overlord, right? Maybe you haven't seen Overlord, you don't want to roll a random 1000 rank Overlord character, you want it disabled. Mm, that's understandable, right? But I don't want it disabled, so I haven't disabled it, and then I've claimed her. If you use my lists, you will be able to roll her. However, let's say maybe you do want Archer. Uh, I don't actually know what Archer's from. Let's find out. What's Archer from? From Fate. There you go. Now, I haven't got Fate disabled on this server, but I might have on another server. If you copy my 
uh, disable list and my anti-disable list, fate might be disabled for you. You can't roll archer. What if you want archer? No, this is just an example, obviously. But if you then disable all of the stuff that you want, it doesn't matter what ranks you're rolling. You're not claiming the people that you want to be able to claim. That's not helping you out, is it? So you have to consider that as well. This is why you make your own one, because you need to know what you have anti-disabled and what you want to roll. Now, there are some ways you can use to get around this. For example, wishing. I have another list in my pins over here. Here we go, wishing for anti-disables. This is a list of stuff that I would be happy rolling, um, but I have anti-disabled. So for example, Marvel. I've, an I've disabled Marvel, I don't want to roll Marvel, but there's a couple of things in there that I would be happy rolling. Thanos has an epic Fortnite gif at the end that I find very funny and ironic. So I would wish Thanos, plus he's super high ranked, he's like a good few hundred Kakara. But I'm not enabling the whole of Marvel just for Thanos, you know? That's silly. So I wish him. You can do the same, you know? If your disable list maybe isn't quite up to scratch, <laughs> like mine, then you can wish a couple of these um, smaller things that you can then roll anyway. Very nice. Um, but for the most part, you want to make sure, because obviously you have a limited number of wish list slots. You can't wish for all of this. I can't wish for all of this, you know? And I've got other priorities for wishing anyway. This is like some late game stuff, you know? that I would end up actually wishing for. So, for the most part, you want to make sure that all of your disables are stuff that you actually don't want to roll, and your anti-disables are stuff that you do want to roll. You copy my anti-disable list, you're going to be rolling some random low stuff, for example. There we go, found it. So, let's see what's at the bottom of my anti-disable list. A rank 64,000 from Chaos Head. Do you want to roll that? Is that going to help you? I've seen Chaos Head. I'll happily claim them, even if they're rank 64,000. What about all of this other stuff that's below 60,000? There's a lot of chaos head here. Higurashi, Darwin's game. All of this stuff. Have you seen it? Do you want this stuff? Because if you don't, why would you copy my list? Did you see what I'm saying here? The whole point of having a disable and anti-disable list is so that you roll what you want. So this is stuff that I want. I've seen all of these shows. Yeah, I haven't seen the Lost Media Wiki, not gonna lie, but uh, LMW Tan is also in a uh, Gajunka series, so that's understandable. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen all of this stuff. I would claim all of this stuff. Would you? Because if not, you don't want my list, right? You want to disable as much stuff as possible. If you don't want this stuff, and then you anti-disable it, that's the opposite of what you, what you want to do. Okay. The final thing that I'm going to talk about is Game Mode 2. Game Mode 2 is different, because with Game Mode 2 you have Limb Roll. Let's quickly go through what Limb Roll does. Because, again, it's something that you need to understand. Disable the maximum amount of less popular characters by claim rank with a single command. Right? Now, you can get extra limits on this. Again, if we have a look at bonus, you can see the Limb Roll. I get an extra 2,000 for Animanga, an extra 1,000 for game. Very nice. Um, and then it says on here somewhere, you can just use Limo 1111 to be safe with your lowest limits. That's probably what you want to do. And what this does for you, if you didn't quite understand that, is it disables everybody that is low ranked. So these characters that I cannot roll, uh, sorry, that I want to claim, I cannot roll. Right. That's why they're in my anti-disable list, because I do want to roll them. And if you anti-disable something, it will be added onto your limb roll, so you get extra disables elsewhere. It figures everything out for you, it's a very nice command. However, the opposite is also true. If you disable something, then your limb roll limits will be lower. Right? It says this here. You can disable specific series with disable, unlimited series slots, that's quite nice. You can disable whatever series you like, but the same amount of characters are enabled if you go below the limits mentioned above. So if you disable 20,000 characters off your disable list, then your current limb roll will be increased by 20,000. 
In other words, you do not disable any extra characters, no matter what you put on your disable list, if you are using Limroll. Here's the other catch. If you are disabled something, a series, you know, manually, then the chances are it's going to have somebody high ranked, somebody in this, right? You are then disabling the high ranked characters, the low ranked ones were already disabled of that series, and in turn, low ranked characters from other series is become enabled. So, for example, saw a video from someone else on YouTube the other day, he had on his disabled list Hollow Live. Fair enough, you don't want to roll Hollow Live? Yes, not my problem. There's 55 characters in it, quite a big series, and some of them are pretty low ranked. Admittedly, this is actually pretty high ranked compared with a lot of other things for the bottom of the series. But yeah, I can see you wouldn't want to roll this stuff. But you know what else you're disabling at the same time? A top 100. In fact, a lot of high ranked characters. Look at the ranks on that stuff. These are all worth hundreds of Kakara. And whether you know them or not, you probably want to have them enabled. Now with Limroll, this top stuff is enabled, and this bottom stuff and this this bottom stuff is disabled, right? But as soon as you start manually disabling stuff, it's all disabled. So what you actually do by disabling it is the bottom stuff stays exactly the same and the top ranks are then disabled. This is why disabling stuff on game mode 2 hurts you rather than helps you, because this already figures out all of the stuff that you can disable and disables it for you. By manually disabling stuff, the only stuff that you are disabling is high ranked characters. It doesn't help you. So in terms of game mode 2 disable lists, well, I'll show you mine, shall I? Game mode 2 disable list, nothing. Right? Empty. You do not want to put anything here. But I think we've now gone through all bases. We've gone through premium and non-premium disable lists, which are exactly the same. Get yourself some Kakara loots, get yourself some upgrades. We've also gone through game mode 1 and 2 disable lists. Game mode 1 disable lists? Have a look at my video for tips on how to make one. Don't copy someone else's. Game mode 2 disable lists? Empty. I think we're done here. If you really want to use my disable list after talking through all of this stuff, you are adamant that it is the best course of action for you, then you can find it in the description. And if you want some more tips on it, feel free to come and ask me in person. Because, oh boy, I know that everyone will ask me in person anyway. I say in person, I mean in Discord, slash YouTube comments, obviously. That's how it works. <laughs> but yes, there you go. I think we've gone through everything. So in this one here, hope you have fun making your own disable list that you know what it contains. <laughs> Bye!